Okay, uh, we're going to do a quick recording on how to build um, with the Page Builder plugin. Um, I've got a little demo page we're going to kind of recreate uh, to show off some of the features that you can do in Virtue Premium. So um, we're going to go into our pages um, in the WordPress admin and add a new one. We're going to title that Oh, page builder. And then I'm going to click on the page builder tab over here. And um, in prepping, I want to make sure I write, choose the right page template. So over in the page attributes, I'm going to make sure I choose full width. And now let's start looking at how this page builder works. Um, got a, a couple options on the top here. You can add a widget, um, add a row, and then use pre-built layouts. Um, right now we're just going to add a row. I'm going to make it two columns, and I'm going to move it up to the top here. Um, I also want my right column to be a little smaller so I'm going to grab it and actually just pull it that way and I'm going to look for uh, we'll just say 40 and 60 now by clicking on an area that's going to be where the next widget goes so I'm going to start with adding just a regular visual editor widget this is um this is a plugin you can download uh, that gives you the visual edit editor in a widget. Um, it's one of the recommended plugins by the page builder. So, in here, I'm just going to grab some placement text and drop that in. I'm going to highlight one section of it with. Pull quote, line center, and done. And then this side, I'm going to add um, a widget actually built into Virtue Premium. So we'll click on Add Widget. I'm going to type up here in the top. Um, just start typing Virtue, and then you're going to see all of the the Virtue widgets. I'm going to grab the gallery widget for this example. Uh, and I can click Add to or Edit Gallery here. That'll open up this, um, uh, the gallery editor. And you can go in and click Add Gallery over here, Add to Gallery. And it's going to show you your media library, or you can upload files. I'm just going to click on a couple of these. the add to gallery button and I'll update gallery now I've got the four images in there I'm gonna click gallery type as standard you've got a couple different options I'm gonna go two columns and I'm gonna keep the captions off and click done and then let's update this and let's see um, what it looks like in the front here. Okay. We've got a page coming together. Now let's add uh, the next the next row. Go back to our editing. Um, and I'm going to actually add another row. And on this one I want three columns. I'm going to move that in between these two. Click on this column and I'm going to add another widget. Um, this is another Virtue Premium widget. It's called the Info Box. And you can use icons with this. So I'm going to do, oh, let's do a laptop.
replacement text. So background, I'm going to make it can choose an icon style, I'm going to choose circle and make the background for that a darker gray, the color of the icon, uh, close and off white. Okay, done. And then one of the nice things you can do with page builder is you can duplicate a widget area. I'm going to duplicate this across um, and edit. Let's see, I'll change this to um, let's do cogs. Okay, so I've got three info boxes. Um, let's update and just look at what we have in the front here. Refresh. Okay, so you three, we've got um, three boxes here. They all have kind of that gray background that we set uh, off white. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to make the this background go all the way across the screen. Uh, so. You can do that by editing the style of your row. So I can go in here and click, um, let's do wide gray. We'll update that and refresh. Okay, and now you see that that whole row has a new style and it goes across the screen. So we'll add one more widget here. We'll bring in the virtue carousel widget. This one's got a lot of options. Um, we're going to do portfolio posts. Um, let's do four columns. Say eight items. Scroll one at a time, and we're going to leave those two settings. And we'll just say. Whoops. Recent work. And update. And then refresh. Okay, there we go. You see, we now have a carousel down here with um, portfolio items in it. So, this is a, just a quick example of how to use the page builder plugin to create kind of cool layouts.